This is the first of two videos where I'm going to be showing you how to explore solar panels using the free Tinkercad program. So I've signed in and then I'm going to create a new design. And this is all happens on a browser and we get a work plane here that I can actually move around. So the first thing I want to do is to click on five millimeters. That means that any shapes that I bring in from the right hand side will jump every five millimeters. So it means that they'll snap to individual parts of the grid. So if you look, it'll jump to the, the next five millimeters away. So what I need to do is move that up here and that's going to be our first shape. Now we found out that most solar cells have to be dark blue, so I'm going to choose a dark blue. And you can see it's too tall, so I'm going to change the height to a small number, like 4. And you can change that, you can edit that later. So what we want to do now is just drag from left to right on your tablet or with a mouse on a laptop or a PC and then we're going to duplicate that. And then we use the arrow keys. On a tablet you will need to move it with your fingers. And you can see that we've got two of those. So let's just repeat that. So I'm clicking on one top left, duplicate and repeat, and then using the arrow keys on my finger. And I'm going to try and spread these out equally on the grid. So what we could do now is to put a box around these three, and then we could do the same thing, duplicate and repeat, and bring them down. And then we've got six, so box round, duplicate, use the arrow key, bring them down. Now you can see we're filling the plane very quickly here. I'm just going to look from the top just to see that I'm happy that they're equally spaced. So what we're going to do now is to add a backboard for these individual cells to be on. So I'm going to choose a different, I'm going to choose a cube again. And this time I'm going to make it even thinner. So I'm going to change that to 2 and press enter. And then that can be stretched across here. Now you can see we're filling up the plane very quickly here. So what I'm going to do is put a box around the whole lot and try and make it smaller. Now you'll see that this whole shape changes. So when working with children I talk about aspect ratio. So let's go to undo and bring it back to the original. And then I'm going to put a box around it. And then on my laptop I'm going to press shift, hold in shift. And then when I move this bottom right but square here, I can't change the shape. The width and the length are in the same ratio. So let's get some more of these now. And I like this because it's very efficient, it's very realistic. This is how you would actually design something and you'd think, well, how many of these do we want? Do we want a gap between them or do we want them next to each other? If we had a gap between them, we'd need another layer of the board. I'm going to just change that actually and just move that over. Now you'll notice the snap goes to there. So I might want to change the snap and I've also made a mistake because I forgot to drag these across. So what I really like about this is you've got the undo button and it's encouraging you to explore. So watch video two to see how I angle the panels and add a base to them.